everyone. Welcome to our Amazon live stream. Happy Prime Day to everybody who's coming in and joining us today. It's a really exciting Monday. It's a great way to start the week, you know, score some sales, score some good deals. Hopefully you'll be able to get attracted to this toy called Clickso that I'm going to talk to you about. It is a one of a kind, not your ordinary building toy that I can't wait to show you. So let's start by showing you what this building block looks like. As you can see, it does not look like an ordinary building toy. Um, traditional building toys are in the form of blocks and tiles that are rigid and geometric. And let me show you this really quickly. Perfect, here we go. So let me show you this building toy. As you can see, they're very thin, they're very flexible, and they're very light and you can basically reconfigure them to form any shape that you want. So in this particular demo, I'm going to, step one, snap the pieces together into a shape like this. Then step two, connect the pieces together. And step three, I've made a ball. I've made a ball that I can throw around, I made a ball that I can roll around on the uh, table or on the floor, or I can stick it to the magnetic ball behind me. And I can show you that I can make another invention with just the six pieces that I have in my hand over here. So I'm gonna tear this apart. And as you can see, I'm being a little rough with the toy, and that's because the toy is incredibly durable. The magnets are so strong, they can snap together as you can hear from the video. And just by arranging it into a new shape, I can create an entirely new creation. So again, with just these six pieces, I've been able to create a snake. And this snake can actually like sort of swivel around, which is really cool. I can show this to you here as well. And the cool thing about the swiveling action is that there are grooves within the magnets that allow you to be able to sort of hold this jointed position. And it's very light, so it can hold it. It's not gonna be heavy at all. It's not gonna topple down, which is really, really good. And then, with just these six pieces, I can make one last creation really quickly, just to show you that you really don't need a lot of pieces in order to make the magic that you see over here. So over here, I have created a little hoop shape, but you can turn it into a crown that can fit the head of a child, or another way to use this really nifty shape is if you stick it on a magnetic wall, you can actually turn it into some sort of a basketball hoop and you can sort of make another shape with, see, the X, flexible, nice and light. And if you stick it over there, you can kind of just like turn it into a game where you shoot a little pebble inside the hole. So these are some of the fun creations that you can make with Clexo. It combines the magic of origami with the ease of classic building blocks. And when you're done with it, you can always just sort of stack it into a very neat pile and you're ready to go. I mean, it's kind of unbelievable, but this is already like a stack of six. And even though these are only a few pieces, there are so many things that you can create. This was just a sample that I showed you and you, one of the things that I want to highlight about Clickso that makes it so different from traditional building blocks and tiles, apart from its unique shape and its flexible features, is the fact that Clickso is the type of toy where you can actually see, hear, and feel the creativity flowing out of the toy. And what I mean by that is just by looking at the vivid colors, you can actually, like, this is really great visual stimulation for a child. Like, the colors are very vivid, they're very bright. But also, you can hear the creativity when the pieces snap and connect together. That snapping noise, that sort of feedback, is really good for kids to sort of know that they're in the correct direction when it comes to sort of exploring and experimenting. Like, it's a good feedback response as they continue to experiment with the different shapes. Another thing, as you, can, as you may have seen from the first example that I had given you earlier, is the fact that in the snake creation, it's not just the snaps, but also the grooves that you can feel and hear. Over here, you can kind of hear it. It's like sort of very ASMR, and you can groove them into different configurations. So as you can see, this is sort of like pointed, but if I move it slowly, 
you can turn it into a completely new shape. So this could be sort of like the eyes of like a little alien creature, which is super fun for kids. And they can really let their imagination take flight with this. The last point is creativity you can feel. Well, you can definitely feel it in terms of like the smooth uh, paper material that we use for this. Um, it's very durable, it's quality paper, and it's actually dishwasher safe, which makes it really fun, like a fun bath time toy. One of the teachers that we, uh, that has used Clixo in his classroom has actually used it to make uh, Clixo bubble wands. So he dips this little shape into dishwashing liquid and soap and water, and then allows the kids to sort of blow like creative looking like shapes through it. And that's like one of the cool ways that you can use Clixo. Like there, it's so versatile. It doesn't need to be used on like a flat surface. You don't need to use it dry. Like there are multiple ways to be able to enjoy this toy. Um, but yeah, and you can also feel it like exactly as when you snap it, like it's just like a really nice tactile sensation. And even with the play system itself, with the play pattern, when you build something, it's very like you are immersing yourself in hands-on learning. And this is extremely good for kids because as kids are growing up and discovering more about the world, it's a really good, safe way for them to explore building, not just in 2D when they're stacking and sorting parts, but also in 3D as they sort of move into a different sort of spatial plane. Um, as you can see, the design is quite brilliant. It took two years of uh, prototyping, of research and development in order to create something like this. I, <laughs> I see in the chat room that there is a question about making a rabbit. Yes, I can totally make a rabbit for you. That, that might require a little bit more than six pieces. That actually might require um, like 12 pieces and I can actually build that for you right now. So. Yes, the chat is live. You can feel free to ask your questions, leave some comments behind. And I'm just gonna like dive into a live build right now as you, as you guys come and build with me. So here, I have a stack of Clixos in front of me and you will see me struggle in real time, which is part of the fun. We are all going to learn and build and grow together. So I'm going to put a couple of pieces together. Um, right now, I am just experimenting. Uh, I think, mm, so far, this is what it looks like. I am going to keep on going. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe another one here. Let's try it. So right now, I have this funky shape, which is a little bit bigger than the T-shape where I made um, the ball earlier. I'm gonna snap this together and I'm gonna add some ears. And I have made a rabbit in front of live television, which is, I guess, my crowning moment right now. <laughs> but this is a little bunny that you can make um, and you can probably make this with the crew pack, which is something that I can talk about later during the live stream. So yeah. This actually sort of is a nice segue that brings me to another really cool point about Clixo. The fact is, it is incredibly unexpected. It keeps surprising you, it keeps you coming back for more. Like the more you play with it, the more there are things that you can discover about it. There are all of these epiphanies that come up. Sometimes it takes a while for the epiphanies to hit, like I'm kind of just sitting there experimenting and sort of just snapping pieces together. But after a while, it sort of, the possibility comes up where I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try it this way. And then it's sort of this aha moment, which is amazing. And if you think about it, that is amazing for kids because that is a really nice sort of like feedback reward that they get as sort of a reward for experimenting, for not giving up, for persisting, and for that sort of like creative res resilience. Like they're not gonna always get it right the first time and it's not about making a perfect build, but it's about experimenting and that really is the most important thing about you know learning as you play. Um, but yeah, the other thing that's really unexpected about Clixo is the fact that not only does it help you focus and keep you engaged, it's also kind of relaxing and soothing to play with. Um, as you may have seen from me just snapping away while we are going through this live stream, it's fun to play with 
Um, a lot of grown-ups use this as a desk toy. Uh, all of us in the office here are known to play with it while we're on our conference calls. But there is something really soothing and really satisfying about the snaps. Because the snaps are so strong and because the paper is like of a nice, durable quality, um, it's just really nice to keep stacking it. And this sort of gives value to young kids as well. Like even if they don't fully grasp the concepts of 2D to 3D building, just stacking the pieces is really good for their um, fine motor sensory skills. Um, the next thing that I want to highlight is the fact that Clixo is not your average STEM toy. And the reason I say this is because we didn't actually build this to hit a certain set check mark of skills. Um, to us, it's not about that. Uh, we think that it's more important to sort of promote this uh, behavior of experimentation rather than perfection. We want kids to be able to be creatively resilient. We want them to persist. We want them to actually find more joy in the act of discovering, in the act of exploring, in the act of trying new things, rather than sort of being obsessed with making the perfect build or the right build. A lot of STEM toys right now are very focused on, you know, following instructions by the letter, you know, one to 10, and making sure that you do it right. But I think that it's a very healthy mindset to know that with Clixo, it's not about the perfect build and it's not about doing things correctly. Like you sort of find your way and it's part of the journey and not necessarily the destination. So life tips, not just for grown-ups, but for kids as well. So very, very important stuff. But despite the fact that it is not your ordinary STEM toy, not your average STEM toy, there are still a lot of STEM skills that you can absorb just by playing with Clixo. Again, this is a very hands-on toy. You learn a lot of sensory skills and fine motor skills as you uh, explore with the set. Uh, there's also that spatial reasoning aspect, which makes it a very good STEM steam toy, especially with the art in steam. It's a very good uh, design toy, and it, in some ways, it's also a very good engineering toy. Um, so you get a lot of it, even though you're just stacking pieces um, in a stack, or if you're building in like wild creations in 3D, like there is so much you can get out of it that's really, really good for you. Um, another thing is, you know, as you're building in 3D, it's not going, it, you won't look at a creation, like a huge creation and immediately be able to figure out like what I'm supposed to be able to do or the pieces I need to make that. You kind of need to explore and experiment for that. And sometimes you kind of have to break down the uh, large creation into tinier bits that are a little bit more manageable, a little bit more bite-sized. And again, that's another life lesson for you kids and grown-ups out there, that it is sometimes important to be able to sort of break things down into like little minute steps and just tackle them step by step until you finally manage to finish the entire project and the entire creation. So yeah, that's something that I can share about Flixo that we're really, really super proud about. Um, another thing I wanna bring up, Clixo, not just for kids. Um, as you can see, I'm a grown woman and I am getting so much fun out of the toys, but some of the most heartwarming reviews that we've gotten um, have been from parents who say that they love Clixo as much as their kids do. So they actually manage to play together and it really facilitates family time, which is great. But at the same time, if the parents need to step away for a minute to actually you know, do their errands or finish like a little bit of work, Clixo is a great toy which facilitates like solo independent play as well as like group play with other siblings or with friends. Um, another thing, as I mentioned earlier, Clixo is really fun for grown-ups and grown-ups can use it as a desk toy or as a fidget toy or as a stress toy. I mean, we all just sort of came out of a pandemic. So, you know, life was a little bit stressful, but now we're slowly coming out of it. And, you know, this is like a fun, light uh, stress toy that you can use as you're sort of like, you know, going back into the normal swing of things. Um, as we're all returning to, as some of us are still not sort of like going back into in office settings and we're still on our Zoom calls. This is a great way to sort of like keep your mind focused and engaged and like fidgeting around. But at the same time, it's also a nice soothing, anxiety relieving toy as you like soothingly like stack the pieces into a nice neat stack. Um, lastly, um, it's also for adults because of the fact that it is such an easy toy to clean up. 
So I know that a lot of parents out there, as a cool aunt, I have seen from my uh, siblings who have kids, it's basically, kids come with a lot of accessories, they come with a lot of mess. And sometimes it's not easy to keep like a clean playroom or a clean bedroom or a clean living room. This toy is extremely easy to clean up. It's so easy to stack up. You can just stack the pieces into a nice neat pile and then sort of just leave it on a shelf as a nice sort of like decorative item. Or you can just leave it on top of like a fridge door. It's good to actually leave it out on display because it serves as a really good reminder for you, for your kids, to sort of give yourselves a few minutes each day to play. So I'm going to pause here for a little bit just to check the chat again and make sure that I haven't left out any questions. Um, hold on for a second. That's so awesome. I was wondering if it could be a desk toy. I'm on calls a lot and it would be great to play with something on my desk. Yes, it is absolutely a wonderful toy that you can play with at your desk. Really, it's not just for kids, it's for grown-ups as well. And a lot of grown-ups really do see the value in it. And this is like a neat stack of maybe like nine or 10 pieces. As you can see, it's like very small. It fits nicely in the palm of my hand. And I can very easily just slip this into a purse. I've personally used it in my purse, uh, in the waiting room. As I was waiting to get my vaccine, I was kind of just like, you know, fidgeting around with it. You know, those 20 minutes after you get the dose and they want to make sure you don't like pass out. I was in the waiting room and I can even show you a picture of it <laughs> where I was sort of just fidgeting around with the toy. It was really fun. So one of the things that I would like to talk about now is the fact that Clixo is available at a variety of price points. Um, as you can see from like right below the uh, live stream section, you can see like a whole list of uh, different packs and different bundles. And I'm sure you guys are wondering like, well, what is the difference between all of these pack sizes? So let me very briefly walk you through that. Um, okay, so the Etsy pack is our smallest pack at the moment, and it comes in 18 pieces. Uh, as you can see from the picture above, it comes in like a variety of like our signature quad pieces. We call this the quad. It also comes with a variety of like flat pieces and flop pieces so that you can make like the bunny that I made earlier or like a different creation. Um, one of the creations that I can probably make for you right now is this little guy with the itsy pack. This is a mouse. Or, you know, in New York culture, this could be Subway Rat or Pizza Rat, which is like super fun. Um, and you can make, this particular build takes like five of the quad pieces and then you stick uh, two of the flop pieces and this long uh, shape called the longi, which is really fun. And that's something that you can do. That's a creation that you can make with the Etsy pack. Um, you can also see other examples of the Etsy pack creations over here on my left side. I can also very quickly make a different creation with, um, with like five of the quads. And I'm gonna try to make this as quickly as possible so that I don't lose your attention. But I just want you to see how versatile it is because you, once again, you really don't need a lot of pieces in order to make really cool creations. So I'm like trying to make one more of this thing. I'm sorry if the camera is shaking. I am not very good at live streaming, but I'm having fun. <laughs> so here is my little creation, and I've just made a little star, or if you would prefer, you could call it a shuriken, which is like, you know, those little ninja stars you like throw. Um, one of the um, maker spaces in New York called the Giant Room actually had a little activity where the kids were throwing like little quad pieces against their um, metal wall and it was like great fun for the kids because like you know they got to practice their target skills was really fun but I digress this little star you can totally make it with the itsy pack which is super fun the next pack I'm going to show you is a little bit bigger than the itsy pack this is called our crew pack and it comes in 30 pieces the beauty of the crew pack is the fact that it comes with this really really cool accessory called the spinner piece um, and you can see it here in this uh, helicopter creation that I've made. The spinner piece is this yellow piece that actually allows the creation to spin around, giving, that, giving the creation like this extra interactive feel. I mean, it's already a very hands-on uh, toy, but this one sort of adds like a new dimension to it, which is really fun. Um, 
yeah, the spinner piece can be used as the eyes or the nose of a creation, or it can be used as like a pinwheel or propeller, which is super, super fun. Uh, if you guys are starved for a Father's Day present and you guys are super late, you can make like a really cool bow tie for your dad. You know, some neat tricks, really simple stuff. Be as creative as you want with Clixos. Uh, one thing to note with the Itzy and the Crew Pack is that you have to choose the colorway that it comes in. It's available in three colorways. Um, this one over here is the green-blue colorway. There's also a colorway called Flamingo and Turquoise, which is like red and blue. And there's another one called Pink and Yellow, which is also really fun. Personally, I like the yellow because I find it like extremely bright and it's just very vivid, especially against the blue. It's really fun as a combination, but it's really up to you what colorway you choose. The next biggest pack that I'm going to show you is called the Rainbow Pack. And the Rainbow Pack is basically a much bigger version of like the Itzy and the Crew. And this time it comes in all of the colors, which that way you don't have to pick the colorway that you want. You basically just get everything. Um, it also comes in more pieces, which allows you to make uh, much bigger creations. As you can see in the example over here, um, the kid is using, uh, has been able to make a rocket ship, a robot, um, a plane, a dog, a snake, a much bigger snake, and a huge flower. So these are some of the cool ideas that you can come up with where you can sort of make your own like creature, which is super fun. Um, for some of the creations, you can also even make like a robot, which is really nice and really impressive. This is something that both girls and boys really love to make. Or you can just make a variety of really, really small creations. For example, this little penguin over here. Um, but yeah, so there are lots of things that you can make with the Rainbow Pack and it's our best seller both on Amazon and on our website Clixo.com. And the reason why is because it really just opens up a rainbow of possibilities and the colors are just so nice and so vivid and so bright. So any creation you make really just looks like a work of art. The last pack that I want to talk to you about is called the Super Rainbow Pack and this is our biggest collection to date. Um, a lot of parents who bought the Rainbow Pack decided that they wanted a much, much bigger pack so that, you know, kids, like multiple siblings can enjoy the packs together or when they have friends or cousins over, they can also play with it. They also like to play with it as like a whole family. So like this is a, a set where both parents and kids and siblings and friends can all sort of like have fun together and make these cool creations. As you can see from the example over here, um, it's a picture of like a dragon, a bigger plane, a huge jellyfish, um, a little lucky cat that's over there in the corner and a much longer dog. So these are some of the fun creations that you can make. Um, I'm gonna pull, pull out over here this really fun creation that um, 15 year old Milo made, which we really love. Okay, this probably doesn't look like much, but let me adjust him. This is a Stegosaurus and this is huge, like enormous. Um, and you can make this with the Super Rainbow Pack. As you can see in this creation, uh, we use his eyes as spinners and you can sort of open his mouth and even close it. And you can even hear it if you listen very carefully, which really goes to show that it is creativity that you can see, hear, and feel. Because you can also like feel the movement and the weight of the grooves and stuff. But yeah, so these are some of the examples that you can make with the Super Rainbow Pack. And the last thing that I want to be able to highlight for you guys today is that there are like a lot of different, um, here. We have a, a lot of different pieces of content on our website, Pixo.com. Uh, if you go to the challenges page, you'll be able to see step-by-step uh, -step video instructions. We know that you don't, you don't necessarily need like an instruction book in order to enjoy it. I mean, our packs do come with a quick start guide in order to get you started with some basic builds. But, you know, for kids that need a little bit more handholding and a little bit more instructions, we do have step-by-step -step video instructions so that it's not very intimidating to them to get started. Another thing that we have over here uh, on our Clixo.com blog, we have content created by some New York City educators. Uh, these are some activity ideas and activity prompts that you can play, that you can do and incorporate in your regular school environment or your homeschool environment. Uh, one is Mr. Andy244, who is a teacher in Queens, and then one is from At Learn with Joey, who is um, a teacher in New York City and Jersey, and she's also a special needs teacher, so and a learning specialist. 
So as you can see, ClickSo is very versatile. You can use it in a variety of environments. You don't even need to build in a flat surface. You don't need a table or a wall. You can build in the car. You can build like just sitting down on your lap. You can also make structures that aren't just rigid and geometric like buildings and houses. You can make all sorts of things like, you know, like a little turtle, for example, or you can make wearables, which are extremely fun and make it more sort of personalized for kids. Like you can make sort of like a purse or turn it into jewelry, like a necklace or a bracelet or a little like superhero gauntlet or, you know, another like super tricked out crown. Um, our website also has uh, special accessories that you can get, like the wheels pack. Today is National Skateboarding Day, and this is a cool creation that is made that shows like a guy that's skateboarding and just like, you know, going off on his thing. So, yeah, right now our packs are on this incredible sale on Amazon Prime for Prime Day. The deals are amazing. These are the lowest prices we have seen this season, and we're very excited to be able to bring you ClickSo at a price point that is great for you guys. Um, Right. So last thing, um, I invite you guys to come over if you guys are in the New York area to come check out our toy store. We're based in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. Uh, we are a small business. This is both our toy store and our office space. And our CEO and our founder is the head designer, is the one who invented the toy. And I think it's helpful for you guys to know that this isn't some guy in a boardroom in a suit uh, doing some focus groups. Like this is someone who has been a toy inventor for his entire career. He's also an educator and has taught at Pratt, at UPenn, um, at NYU ITP. So he's incredibly talented. He knows what he's doing. He knows all sorts of things about design and creativity. And he has always had a passion for giving kids the um, creative confidence to be able to explore and to be able to succeed creatively and to just, you know, introduce the magic and the power of play in everyday life. So yes, this is pretty much ClickSo in a nutshell. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about ClickSo and I hope this sparked your curiosity about the toy and inspired you to get creative and to get hands-on with uh, inventing and stuff. I'm going to check the chat just to see if there are any additional messages. But so far, um, that seems to be it for today. So yeah, this was a 30 minute stream where I kind of walked you through a little bit of our philosophy and a little bit of what makes Cook so special and the differences in our packs. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me this afternoon. Um, I'll be back on the Amazon live stream tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time and again tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Hope you guys score some amazing deals on Prime Day. Hope you guys buy some Clixos. I mean, at the end of the day, this is not your average building toy and your kids and all the kids in your life are gonna love it. So you should totally buy it and check it out. Have a great night and yeah, catch you guys soon. Bye.